was the American? He seems nice. I invited him to the dinner. It's good with fists for a diplomat. Travis Scott, what's up, man? Man, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you too, man. It's so exciting. You know, the, the pairing of, of a Christopher Nolan and, and yourself. You know, and I don't think he's ever had a pairing quite like this before. Getting Travis Scott involved in the film was Ludwig's idea. Uh, Ludwig, I mean, he's a, an amazing composer. He's also a fantastic music producer. When we started mixing the movie, every Friday we had playback. So I started seeing the movie on the big screen you know, 10, 15 times. And I felt like the end credits with my music, it kind of felt a little anticlimactic to me. It was like, I feel like for this moment, you'd need something new that you haven't heard before in the movie. A voice that came to mind was uh, Travis Scott because I, I love what he does with his voice, especially like the way he treats his voice and makes it sound almost like an instrument. Ludwig came to me and suggested to, that we show the film to Travis. We get him in and we see if, if he would have something to add to the, to the movie. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. I ended up coming to the theater to watch it. Christopher was there, <laughs> and we ended up watching it. He showed it, up. And he was there, it was just open. <laughs> it was really exciting to show the film to, to somebody who, who knew nothing about it, you know, coming in, coming in cold and, and sharing it with him and uh, seeing what he would think. Immediately when the movie finished, you know, he got up and jumped around because he was so excited. And like this, like his reaction was like exactly what Chris was, was looking for. Last time it was no tennis. I sent Travis the beat that I had made for the fire truck scene. I think I was still in like fan mode. Right, right. Um, I think when I left watching the movie, but I had all these different ideas of what I took from the movie. And I was like, all right, maybe I should just go try to like write some and put something together mm -hmm. and send it and see if like we see the same type of take. Well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. I didn't went back in myself, felt like hell. I risked it, patient yourself. How you living? No, you thrilling off a cement. How I got my strikes and pin this back in now. Travis had a tremendous understanding of how the music works in the film and what Ludwig was trying to do in terms of enhancing the themes and the storytelling of the film with, with the musical motifs. I wrote a song kind of just based on like these last images mm -hmm. in my brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when as soon as I was finished, I just sent it back. It was incredible. It was extremely exciting and it felt very apt. It stuck to the film. That's the thing with music. The, the movie either spits it out or it sticks to it. And uh, we found that Travis's voice really, really worked. It was actually so good. We took a little snippet of his voice and implemented that into the score. because the sound of his voice was just, was really on par with the sound world we had created for the movie. By the time you get to the end of the film and, and you know, the full song is, is revealed, uh, you've been hearing little hints of it, you know, all along, all through the film. Time isn't the problem. Getting out alive is the problem. I mean, the song is fire, bro. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's off the chain. Yeah. And the fact that this is what came out of your viewing of it yeah. and you, you, you sitting with it, yeah. you know, it, it just, it's a beautiful blend, I think. As artists, you know, we get inspired by visuals. And it was just like different aspects of the movie left stains on my brain and kind of just like try to put it into like a joint. It's definitely like a inspirational type of movie. It's its own genre. I mean, it's got the spy thriller element to it, you know, and the sci-fi atmosphere. Yet this is something else. This is something evolved, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and you seem to be aiding the audience into what we're doing and trying to say musically yeah. through the sound. And like the film, it's it's something you want to see and listen to over and over again, because yeah. you'll find something different every time, every viewing, every every listen. What do you think we're seeing? The detritus of a coming war.